This wig is called Untamed. It's in color 1488H and it is from the wig company. This wig was sent to me for review. This is a curly wig and they can be a little scary out of the box. You'll have to excuse my voice, I've been quite ill. Can be a little bit intimidating, but hold on and wait till you see what simple water does to this wig. Now we're gonna shake it out. This gets the fibers up off of the cap and brings the wig to life. So now here's where I forget to move the adjusters out. Um, I have an average large head, so almost no um, wig cap will fit me unless I release the adjusters all the way out. However, this wig does have a lot of stretch and was very comfortable on my head. <laughs> yeah, so just wait. This is a really beautiful wig and it's very, very close to my bio hair. I have really missed having uh, curly hair and I hadn't seen a curly wig that I really liked. Um, so when the wig company wanted me to review, I pick this one first off. I had to have it. And the price point on this wig is very, very reasonable. Now, most people would have freaked out and put this wig back in the box by now. So I wanted to make this video to show you how you can get a wig like this into a more manageable state to where it's absolutely beautiful. You don't have to have any special knowledge. All you really need is a water bottle. Look how much better it's looking already. You got to remember these wigs have been manufactured, packaged, um, stored, and then shipped. So they do take a little bit of um, finessing to kind of bring them back around. So now I'm just trying to decide um, how I want to wear it. This one little piece right here you see fuzzed out, and it was the only piece that did that to me for some reason. Um, later on, I actually used a little bit of wig wax, and it took the frizz right out. And for some reason, it was just that one piece. So now I'm just playing with it, kind of figuring out what looks best with my face shape and seeing what the wig is going to do. Now wigs do run short on me because I'm tall and I have a long neck. So I would be more inclined to be able to wear this wig down um, if I was more petite. Now here in the back, you're going to have to cut some baby hairs, or if you have bio hair of a similar color, you can pull that out. Very easy to cut a few baby hairs in to just sort of disguise that um, hairline. Again, I wish this wig was just a little longer on me. But on you, it could just be perfect. Um, I'm almost 5'8", and I have a very long neck and a tall head.
And once again, this does not have a lace front and that does keep the price point down and clearly you don't need it with these bangs. And I love these curly bangs. Also, there is permatease in this wig, but because of the curls, you can't see it. So here's your top. There is no mono parting and there is permatease in here. This cap is very stretchy. It has Velcro adjusters. And I think it's a very pretty natural color. So here I've put it up how I want it. I twisted these bits back to take some of the bulk out. And you have to look at your face shape and how it suits you. Then I just simply twisted the back up and put a clip in. It was very, very easy. You really do not need um, big styling uh, stuff to do this. It's, it's such a simple, easy uh, wig to put up. Anybody can do this. Here's a few pictures. And once again, I want to thank the wig company for sending me this wig. Um, I love it. It's so close to my bio hair and I've really missed wearing uh, my hair up. And this wig is perfect for any kind of updo that you want to do. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope it's helped someone and is informative. Thanks again.